Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode 8 of the Aqua Top and White Sands. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. What's up? Okay. Of course you ain't gonna show it until after the opening. BTW, I am so sorry I forgot to record this last night. Um, I remembered when I got up, then my mom and I had to, we were hanging out, and I was gonna wait until I got back home um, from going to get my second COVID dosage um, and stuff. And... Didn't have the greatest experience yesterday after, well, while waiting to get my shot and stuff. And, um, let's just say, like, if you follow me on Twitter and if you see the tweets that I tweeted yesterday about a guy, um, being very standoffish with me and stuff, and it pissed me off. And so I came home and I, I, I was like, yeah, I'm done with everything for today. I was like, that's all I had to do. And then I'm watching TV, and it's 11 o'clock at night, and then that's when I realized, I was like, oh shit, I didn't record Aqua Top today. And I was like, okay, it's fine, it's fine. I was like, I got, I'll get it done tomorrow with um my next life and stuff. But I am so sorry. Like, how in the world, I think, because the guy made me extremely anxious and nervous, and I... Mm, what it was not the best situation last night. I wanted to make a really bad scene, big old scene, but I handled it well, thank God. But it was not the greatest. <clears throat> Why? You're scared of crabs? Okay, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. What about lobsters? I mean, she would hate Sanjuro to Hada then, because you know that is the spirit of a crab, you know. Hell. <laughs> mm, they forgot to take a crab out oh Jesus Christ that woman is gonna have a panic attack <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, Fuka. I mean, but seriously, nobody checked for crabs before. I mean, I know y'all did, but didn't y'all double check, triple check? Check four times, five times, six times. It's in there, ain't it? Yeah, you know, you want everything to be nice and good by the time you leave, so you don't have that that much of a cleanup, you know. Uh-uh. And a crab too, but they don't know it. Now where to go? Oh, there it is. Do you have family staying here? Well, damn. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think I have those in Animal Crossing yet, but, like, I haven't played Animal Crossing in a whole freaking year, so... <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<clears throat> Excuse me. Of course. Now you're just going to let it out, Fuka. You don't even know. <laughs> yeah, there should be two. No, no. It's not your imagination. One of them's at the hospital. <laughs> oh, God, that hurts so much. I'm going to cry. Do you want the truth or do you want me to be honest? We're like, no, nah, no, nah, nah, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But still, if they were able to make it like a local landmark, it could never close down. And let me guess, she broke that promise. Oh, my God, so cute. Hmm? <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Well, it's still under the, um, one of the, like, things. You guys.
It's not the fish that eat dead skin. Because of the fact that you're in a wheelchair. Poor baby. It's okay. Oh. I thought she was going to faint. <laughs> No, it was so cute. <laughs> but in a way, I mean, she conquered her fear. <laughs> I mean, I feel bad for her for the way it went down, but... Mm -hmm. And that's all that matters. It's okay. People say really mean things that they don't mean when they're upset. Trust me.
right. Yeah, it's like that sometimes. But it doesn't feel enough. So you can't give up. tells me Cotting is probably going to go for her dreams. I mean, he- here's the one thing that I've kind of learned in the 27 years of my life. Um, <laughs> you can have, you can go for multiple goals. There, you don't have to be just one thing and such. You can do many, as many things that you want to do and so you want to strive for the best and such. Sometimes it is hard to multitask, um, several careers, jobs, whatever, uh, side jobs and it's like that. But for you to become whatever you want to become, you're going to do everything and everything in your power to get to that goal and to finalize, um, that goal. And when you get to the top of where you really want to be, you strive for another goal and you continue thriving and thriving and thriving. And so something tells me that probably by the end of the series, we will see Cotton officially going between her actual job and then also her dream job and such. Because everybody wants that for themselves. You want to have everything. And so you're like, damn, I'm going to do everything in my power to do it. I really thought this was a good episode, not only for Cotton um kukuru but also um the little girl and the guy who works at the aquarium especially their relationship i do kind of wish for Idy. we got to know a little teeny bit like more about her especially like why in the world she was in the hospital it had to be something with her legs because she's in a wheelchair but they didn't explain that much oh she's pretty Coco, are you jealous? Baby jealous? Baby jealous! <laughs> girl, like, hold up. Hold up. We don't need another girl up in this business. No, 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 no. It's too much. <laughs> probably thinking what if she falls in love with Fuka what if Fuka falls in love with her what am I going to do I need to be with my girlfriend ASAP all the freaking time <laughs> but the new girl seems interesting I don't since this is only our first appearance of her she, she just seems nice and, you know but she might have like that like she swaps with her personality she might have a little bitchy side to her but we ain't gonna know till next Thursday but yeah I thought this is a really sweet episode any episode where every episode of the show is just sweet as fuck that's all I can say once again um but like oh god the, the oh god the feels the feels especially with the crab thing conquering your you know biggest fear about someone being afraid of crabs or certain animals and everything because like me I am so afraid even though I'm really cool around them I, I don't like crocodiles alligators or anything as someone who lives in Florida I occasionally once in a blue moon will see like a crocodile or anything but like if I see it I'm like <laughs> hold up other way but when I went to New Orleans during my senior year of high school with my chorus um, there was a baby crocodile and they were handing it around everybody and I was sitting right next to one of my friends and she was like, do you want to touch it? I was like, oh, <laughs> no. 
I was like, I am good. Like, no, 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 no. I, I will look at it from afar and everything. But if you ask me, yeah, DJ, you want to touch it? No. No. I, I'm not one with nature. I don't like snakes. I, I don't like spiders. And it's, that's why, like, you know, as someone who wanted to go to Australia as a kid so freaking much and as a teenager, now adult DJ, adult DJ does not want to go to Australia because, you know, everything in Australia wants to kill you. Have you seen them big ass spiders? Like, no. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. But yeah, I, I think, you know, next week we're going to see a, a little bit of Jealous Kukuru, a lot. And so I think Fuka is going to definitely be like the, <laughs> the, 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 because mm, in my opinion, Kukuru, no, Fuka, they both kind of wear the pants in the, in the relationship. I think Fuka is going to necessarily where there are moments where Kukuru kind of gets angry or lashes out at this new girl. Fuka's going to be there to kind of calm her down and say, hey, there's no reason to yell at her. Yes, she's somebody new. I understand you don't like her. But remember, I was new and you immediately liked me. So why can't you immediately like this girl? But we ain't going to know until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode 8 of the Aqua Top of White Sam. <clears throat> oh, White Sam. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 9. Bye, guys.